What's going on guys? This is Steve from Steam Mobile Tech and in today's video we're talking T-Mobile's new TV service. So the service is officially called T-Vision Home. This is T-Mobile's BS free version of TV provisions. The uncarrier is referring to this TV package as an upgraded rebranding of Layer 3 TV with a focus on customer care, worry-free and hassle-free experience. Let's get the first few things out of the way in terms of features. T-Mobile has said that it will be receiving features such as Netflix and other streaming apps. We're assuming that this would also include Hulu and any type of streaming services that you may have already. In terms of channel selection, there are going to be a plethora of channels that are either in HD or in 4K formatting. We're seeing a channel list that could grow, uh, starting somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 channels and reaching over 350 channels. And about 35,000 uh, shows and movies that are all considered to be on demand. So quite a bit of selection there. The service is also going to include a broad selection of social media content, including all the applications that most normal people are using in terms of social media. We're also going to be seeing DVR included in the service. Uh, Google Assistant, Alexa, as well as security camera features are all going to be built in and capable in this particular set of provisions. In terms of market availability, we're seeing it available currently in eight cities. So, uh, Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth, Los Angeles, New York City, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., and a random one in Colorado, Longmont. So, you know, small selection of cities that are currently going to be receiving the service uh, within the next week or so. In terms of the user interface, there is going to be a heavy emphasis on artificial intelligence and artificial learning. So, when you watch TV, where you watch TV, as well as what you're watching all kind of goes into this collection of data where it's going to kind of learn you and then kind of play this predicting game where it thinks it knows what you want and it'll kind of present itself, you know, in a way to kind of streamline your watching experience. And built within the UI, we're going to be seeing a lot of things like music streaming applications, as well as apps that are compatible with both iOS and Android. Connectivity, you're going to have to provide your own internet connectivity in terms of high speed internet, uh, in terms of broadband. So obviously that is one of the huge components that T-Mobile wants to get into in the near future, but there's nothing on that now. So as long as you have current home internet or reliable, you know, some form of a hotspot, you can go ahead and run the service. I'm sure it's going to require a fair amount of bandwidth to be able to, you know, stream different types of HD and 4K content. A big kicker in all of this is obviously going to be pricing. That's probably the most sensitive issue in terms of what T-Mobile is doing here. They've got to come in at a point that makes them competitive and is going to disrupt the marketplace in terms of TV. According to T-Mobile's own market research, they have concluded that 74% of Americans are paying more than $107 per month for home TV. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with this research. I mean, that number does seem a little bit high, both the 74% and I think also the amount but we'll just take T-Mobile at their word for this particular usage. Cost of the service is coming in at about $100 per month, but currently they are running a promo for $10 off per month, which brings it down to 90, and it is available to T-Mobile customers at that discount permanently, uh, and it is open enrollment in terms of anybody being able to use the service. Obviously, one of the biggest things that people hate when it comes to big cable are the hidden fees, the installation fees, uh, the surcharges, the taxes, all that stuff starts to add up after a while. And of course, T-Mobile is taking the uncarrier approach and they're saying none of that. You're going to have no contracts. You're going to have no surcharges, no hidden fees, nothing of the sort. You're paying a flat rate, $90 per month uh, with that discount or $100 per month without it. And that's pretty much what it's going to be and it's what it's going to stay. T-Mobile is also launching a satellite freedom program where they're actually going to be paying off any type of early termination fees that... T-Mobile TV customers would want to switch from either DirecTV or Dish, uh, they'll basically buy you out of those termination fees and you'll be getting that in up to a $500 prepaid gift card or I'm assuming some form of Visa or MasterCard prepaid card. And in terms of date of availability, it is going to be offered starting April 14th and it will be available in T-Mobile stores as well as online. During the actual announcement for this service, uh, CEO John Ledger was really stressing the new T-Mobile, uh, really emphasizing their need for the merger and for them to really take off to make this service kind of, you know, bloom and really catch traction in the marketplace. Obviously going to be implicating some broadband here. They're going to want to get in people's homes. They're going to want to do it through broadband, 
through TV and also kind of bundling that with wireless. So I think the merger becomes really heavily implicated in all of their endeavors that they're trying to accomplish here in 2019 and moving forward. And I think it kind of goes without saying that T-Mobile's 5G plan is probably the most important future cog in all of this. Without the 5G, I'm not sure if the network's really going to be able to hold up. They're really going to require a strong backbone of a network to support this type of service, especially if they're going to be implicating home broadband, home TV, home internet, uh, everything in terms of their network. So let's go ahead and summarize all the pros and the cons from this announcement. Let's start first with the pros. Some of the things that I would include as the pros in this announcement, I would say the HD and 4K content obviously is a pro. You're getting high quality video playback here, and of course that makes it more enjoyable when it looks amazing and it looks awesome. Another thing is you've got a full profile of channels. You're gonna get you know somewhere between 150 to over 300 channels. Got a huge selection there, that's great. Also, you've got smart home integration, with I, which I think a lot of people who have, you know, Google Homes and Alexas and things like that, it's kind of nice that they have that feature to kind of support the smart home. Uh, also, you have AI learning, which means, obviously, it's going to tailor to your wants and your needs and kind of, you know, providing you with a more streamlined and enjoyable experience. I think the buyout program is pretty nice, trying to lure people away from companies like Dish and DirecTV. And the no BS hidden fees, the uncarrier approach, I think really puts a bow on it and it's kind of become the T-Mobile way. And the last thing is the cost is slightly cheaper than what T-Mobile claims to be what most people are paying here in the US. Now for the cons. I think in terms of the cons, probably something that a lot of people are gonna be complaining about as kind of like a negative to this is going to be the cost. They're only coming in a little bit cheaper than what people are already paying or they may not even be coming in cheaper than what people are currently paying. So if somebody is paying $105 or $107 per month as T-Mobile claims, why should they pay $100 to switch to you? They should probably be looking for something a little bit better. I think T-Mobile missed the boat on this one. I think they should have came in a little bit more aggressively and come in cheaper. It would have been nice to see the service offered to T-Mobile customers for something like $50 or $60 per month. And even to non-T-Mobile customers, maybe come in at that $80 to $85 per month. I think that would have been a little bit better. I think another con here is T-Mobile missed the opportunity to really push Layer 3 TV in this. I don't think they really do anything with layer, layer 3 TV on this side. It doesn't really seem like it's really an integral part of it. I'm not sure. I don't really see the integration of the purchase of Layer 3 TV. I don't see that acquisition. I don't see the benefit of Layer 3 TV in this particular service. I just don't. Another con that can't be overstated is the limited markets. We're only seeing it in eight cities currently. Obviously, people are going to be generating some buzz about this and you're gonna to wanna to get this in more areas. So I think eight markets being kind of scrawny, being kind of, you know, shrimpy there, I would have liked to have seen them, you know, maybe in some second tier markets, maybe not just these bigger ones. So it's nice that they're in Dallas and it's nice that they're in Chicago, but getting to some other mid-size, you know, mid uh, population type cities would have been nice. And, you know, obviously increasing that number from eight to maybe 30, 40, or even 50 cities. And I think we'll kind of cap this off with the last con, I think, the biggest con out of this announcement is the fact that this move does not really scare big cable. It doesn't scare Comcast. It doesn't scare Charter. It doesn't scare Cox. It doesn't scare, you know, uh, Time Warner Spectrum. They're not intimidated by this move, at least not yet. T-Mobile's in such few markets, and the cost is really not that attractive to get people to switch over, you know, Dish and DirecTV. I'm not sure if those buyout programs are going to be enough to get people to ditch whatever they've got going on. So... They're not scared yet, but as of right now, I could say that obviously it's going to take more than this announcement and this package to make any type of dent into big cable. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of my pros and my cons. Let me know what you think of the announcement and all the different features and the cost and the price point, availability, you know, all that stuff that I covered in the video. Just go ahead and drop me a line in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions there. So thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. Much appreciated. If you could, please go ahead and rate the video. And if you haven't done so already, you've been lurking, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more SMT. And of course, make sure that you ding the bell to be notified whenever I upload new content. 
and you're the first to know whenever SMT drops a new video here on the YouTube. And if you'd like to give us uh, some support with the Steam Mobile Tech Patreon page, I'll put a link in the description box below. Also join us on the Discord chat. I'll put a link to the server down in the description box as well. So that wraps up this video. Thank you all for taking the time to tune in. I am Sneed from Steam Mobile Tech, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.